right, YouTube? It's Shadow King King Naju. And it's my 500th video! Yeah! Well, technically it's my 503rd video, but let's just say it's my 500th video. Now, I wanted to do something special, like uh, review the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Kai's Boo Saga. Except for they just gave the English sub version for episode 141 without doing what 137 through 140. Uh, I don't get it either. So let's talk about some other big news. Spider-Man. So it's uh, the whole uh, speculation about what's going to be the future of Spider-Man is over. It turns out that Spider-Man is going to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And let me give a round of applause. Well, let me say, let me offer my congratulations. Yay. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to put, I forgot to put emotion in that. Let me try that again. Yay. You can probably guess that I, I'm pretty new, ambivalent towards this news. On the one hand, it's nice to see that Spider-Man probably has some interaction with the Marvel, uh, Marvel characters, and as, and with the it can be completely immersed in the in this uh, Marvel universe. He'll have more he'll be capable of doing things that he wasn't able to do in the uh, single uh, Amazing Spider-Man universe. That being said, there's still a lot of problems that could arise from doing this. But we'll get to that in a little bit. And we got uh, all the Marvel Knights and the Rami Man fanboys who said, who initially did everything in their power to derail the Amazing Spider-Man reboot just for the sake of it being a reboot as opposed to a sequel to the uh, Rami Man trilogy or it not being a movie made by Marvel Yet they are totally fine with Marvel uh, do, possibly doing a reboot towards the Spider-Man movies. Let the flag for hypocrisy fly high from every pole. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> uh, it hasn't been exactly said what um, uh, what they're going to do what's, what they're going to do with Spider-Man, whether right? they're going to reboot it or continue with the Amazing Spider-Man series. Uh, hopefully, uh, they'll they'll most likely try to continue with the Amazing Spider-Man series with Sony still having some, having a good amount of control of what's going to happen in these movies. And <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, let's see, what was it? Oh yeah, right. They still have some control. And hopefully they'll continue the Amazing Spider-Man movies, especially considering that uh, Marvel says that they want a Spider-Man who's not too old but not too young and naive. Even though there were some who said that Marvel wanted a naive Spider-Man who would look up to a mentor from either Iron Man or Captain America. Yeah, that just reeks of Ultimate Spider-Man TV show. Yeah, I so want a movie about based off that show. And uh, let's see, there are some other problems, uh, such as uh, trying to explain uh, just how, how the where the heck were the Avengers or Shield when uh, New York was being terrorized by the Lizard or Electro, and some people say that. Maybe this, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 could take place after Age of Ultron, and after the Electro incident, Spider-Man's name got out, and uh, more heroes were becoming aware of him. So, stopping the Lizard from mutating all of New York wasn't worthy of mention by the, anyone in New York, specifically of the superhero community. Funny. Very funny. And, uh... There's also going to be um, what they're going to do with Spider-Man. Uh, I mean, because as I've said numerous times before, I did not like some of the decisions what they did with Spider-Man, uh, such as the uh, 
the making of this da Dan Slott shitty run with uh, his superior Spider-Man where Doc Ock uh, replaced Spider-Man and said he was going to be a hero even though he's still acting much like his villainous self with uh, being an ex with a cold-hearted scientist with a superiority complex I always think he's better than everybody and taking lethal measures uh, to solve problems so yeah that was a complete mess um, but that's not a that's not a hero or there for this and we should move on before this turns into a random on superior spider-man uh, and there's also is the chance that they could probably just do what the comics did and try to kill Spider-Man off just to bring in Miles Morales just for because he's positive right now even though he's a barely an established character and most of his stories are just rehash of what uh, Peter Parker went through in the 616 universe so I it's becoming pretty obvious that I don't really care that much for Miles Morales I don't hate him I just feel completely indifferent towards him and uh, there's also the chance that this will be extremely exploited by the Marvel Animated Universe. They might even change some things to uh, make reference towards it. Oh boy, not really looking, not really looking forward to that. Uh, I, you know, a lot of people are wonder, are uh, were starting to ask me uh, now that Spider-Man is going to be joined with the Marvel Universe. Who do I think should play Spider-Man, uh, assuming that uh, Andrew Garfield doesn't return? Well, I personally do really hope that Andrew Garfield returns because he's the definitive Spider-Man in my opinion, and not, and certainly not that what deadpan, one expression, uh, talentless, talentless other person, <laughs> Tobey Maguire. Uh, but honestly, I don't exactly know who else could play Spider-Man. I posed some other suggestions like Logan Lerman or whatever his name is. Uh, but I, like I said in my Percy Jackson 2 review, I after seeing that movie, I don't want him anywhere near Spider-Man. Because he, he was just terrible in that movie. And... Uh, it has to be someone who could, uh, be both, uh, be both like a nerd and be very scientific, while at the same time being pre pretty funny and witty, and can know how to handle drama and comedy well all together, which, uh, Andrew Garfield did pretty well, but, yeah, so, anyway, uh, if this does continue the Amazing Spider-Man series, great. Uh, really want to see what I, how that story continues. If it, if it's a reboot, I'm willing to give it a chance. Uh, just don't make, just don't do the bad decisions that Marvel has done with the comics of late, or like try to adapt Superior Spider-Man or One More Day or anything else from Dan Slott. Uh, don't try to copy anything from the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show. Uh, and certainly do not try to bring the Raimi Man, sh a continuation of the Raimi Man series, with Tobey Maguire being a 40-plus-year-old man, with no explanation of what he's been doing of late. And, uh, practically it'd be impossible for him to be Spider-Man, since he is 40-plus years old and he would not be, uh, uh, fit for the role, uh, both physically and uh, many other reasons. Uh, so, as long as they don't do that, I'm willing to give it a chance if it is a reboot, though I do hope it's still a continuation of the Amazing Spider-Man movies. If by some asinine reason that they do can decide to go with the decisions that I don't want, Spider-Man will be dead to me. Because they've already killed him for me in the comics and the TV shows that I practically don't care what they do, do anymore because they've killed him for me. 
And the movies are the only thing I have left. So if Marvel screws this up, I'm, I will be officially done with Spider-Man. Movies, comics, in general, he will be dead to me. But uh, hopefully that will come to be. And so, yeah. Let's just hope that uh, everything will be will turn out for the best for Spider-Man. And I'll catch you guys later.